It's a major decision day for President Muhammadu Buhari as he announced the suspension of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Onoge, today. The President is replacing Justice Walter Onoge with Justice Ibrahim Tanku Muhammad as the CJN in acting capacity. The President swore in the new acting CJN as a ceremony in the Council Chambers at the State House in Abuja. Justice Muhammad hails from Bauchi State and he is the most senior judge in the Supreme Court after Justice Onoge. The President said he acted on the directive of the Code of Conduct Tribunal and the suspension of Justice Onoge is pending the completion of his trial at the CCT. Nigeria is a constitutional democracy and no one must be or be seen to be above the law. Unfortunately, the drama around the trial of the Chief Justice of Nigeria has challenged that pillar of justice in the perception of the ordinary men on the street. For it is certain that no ordinary Nigerian can get the swift and sufficient treatment justice has enjoyed from his subordinates and friars in our judicature. In the midst of all these distracting events, the essential question of whether the accused Chief Justice actually has a case to answer has been lost in the squabble over the form and nature of his trial. This should not be so. If justice cannot be done, and clearly seen to be done, society itself is at risk of the most unimaginable chaos. It is no secret that this government is dissatisfied with the alarm rate in which the Supreme Court of Nigeria under the oversight of Justice Walter has serially set free persons accused of the most dire acts of corruption, often on mere technicalities, and after quite a number of them have been convicted by the trial and applicate courts.